Akatsuki will deliver it. Hello, Reborn. Hope you're having a good day. And welcome back to the adventures of Mimi Bonk. Bonk. Uh, we are... You know, if you're watching the VODs or whatever, we are now on the PC version of the emulator because... the Steam Deck version just doesn't work. Not for microphone stuff, at least. It works in general, but... You know, for some reason, the... version that they have on the... emu deck thing doesn't have any microphone settings. So I had to play through the entire first part of the game... again. This time without a speed-up function, because it doesn't work on this... really at all. But... I have confirmed that the microphone does work on this version. I can even go like to here to options, do a mic test, which is apparently a function. I should have, you know, figured that out before we made that other version. But if I do this, you can tell that the microphone is being used. And if I hold it down, it goes on for as long as I want. Of course, that is a button on the keyboard, which makes it a little awkward, but it's fine. It's fine. Now, what's weird is it doesn't work with the in with the sound file I used for Phantom Hourglass, but the internal file, which didn't work for Phantom Hourglass, does work on this one. Uh, I did make sure I could get past the flute section that we were stuck at. I didn't save it afterwards, but I made sure we could get past it. And it's a pain. I can't imagine how it's going to work later on, but we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, hopefully Mimikyu will exist for this, but who knows. Uh, the only problem with this version, I am using the drawing pad still. But the only problem with this version is the sound's kind of meh. Now the big question is, do you want to see the mouse? Okay, so I'll get into the game first. But, because of how I have it set up, the mouse is invisible. And you'll see the sparkles, but you won't see the mouse. It does just mean if I point at something, you won't see it, but, eh. Sorry. Was joking and dying. 
normal stuff. And hopefully the sound's okay. But I actually go to the menu and I can use the thing. Okay. I don't really care either way. You are the dork random. And hello. Hope you're having a good soundproof day, because it's about to get noisy. But I'm doing an extra stream of Spirit Tracks, partly because I didn't really know what to do that wasn't just some game no one cares about, and partly because I wanted to make up for the hour we wasted, and it's definitely not because I want to beat the game before another game comes out, even though that definitely will not happen. And I'm doing normal. Normal day, nothing to report. Uh... Yeah, pretty much it. But, let's continue the game. I don't remember what voice I gave this guy. So, shall we try to play the song? Okay. Alright, let's practice a bit before we launch the real thing. The song is two-part, each of which are played by different instruments. So he became Mario. But now, just follow my lead. I'm going to start by teaching you how to play the spirit flute. Slide the spirit flute so the note you want to play is in the middle of the screen. Then blow into the microphone to play the note. <gasps> Good! Now I'll teach you your part. For this song I'm about to play, imitate me as closely as you can. Pay attention to the timer. Just match the collar of the musical note to the collar of the pipe you want to play. Then you've had enough practice, tap the arrow to rest a bit. I hate rhythm games. This is all you have to do. Oh, that does remind me, I remembered the comic I was going to make and never did because drawing people four separate times is a lot of work and, you know, then the thing came out and I was just like, oh, forget it. It's not even a good comic. So, I might try using, like, just stock images of those characters to make the comic and then just draw the speech bubbles. It was rhythm game related. You'll never guess what it was. You've probably forgotten. But who knows if I'll do that. That's, that's work. And also, I can't find any images that aren't just... slathered with horrible white blocks around them for some reason. Why can no one just cut things out? Now for the real performance, you'll play that part after I play my part. Goes me, you, 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 me, you. And don't mess up the timing, you hear? So you ready for the real thing? It is effort. For nothing. Don't let my part confuse you. And not at nothing, I guess it might give someone a smile, and that's, that's good enough. Nope, I messed up. Oh, no, 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 your timing was all wrong! I'd like to try again. Yeah. This is difficult. Especially with a drawing pad. We did it! Okay.
Oh, hello, I'm also here. We did it. That took like six or seven tries off stream. Because I wanted to make sure I could actually get through it. That's why it only took two tries this time, and it's still embarrassing that it took one try. <laughs> or that I missed one try. You can feed the duet with Gage, the Locomo, the Forest Realm. The Forest Realm map has started glowing. Ta da! Now we got more rails. New tracks have appeared. Wonderful, wonderful. The tracks of the Forest Temple have been restored. You're a natural at that, Mimi, but don't patronize me. And you sounded really good, too. Now let's head to the Forest Temple. Thank you so much, Gage. Good luck, but be careful. The Forest Temple can be very dangerous on account of the murderous bees I planted there. Now we leave. Oh, hello. Feel bad that Mimic, you might miss something. Uh oh. Do you hear anything coming from the stone there? No, I don't. Dang it. Notice those before. What? Am I playing constellations? How did you get that from two notes? Boing? Yeah, that was a nice nap. That song just now, was it you who played it? I'll give you this valuable piece of information, this one. The song you just play is called The Song of Awakening. Guys like me are scattered all over the place. You play us that song, we'll tell you valuable information. Now you can also check out that song on the collection screen. That way you can practice whatever you want. And that's it. See ya. Play it to wake anything that's asleep. I remember when The Song of Awakening was like... Uh, seven notes? Now it's two. I don't know how to get to any of these things. I assume I get a hook shot or something. Why don't any links pass down their weapons? Hey, let me know if it's too loud. It should be fine though. It's the same volume Phantom Hourglass is on. It's getting faster and faster. The world is speeding up. When you breathe too fast, and then you'll pass out. Yeah, usually. But there are a few of them to do. It's a spoiler! Go away, spoiler. In the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are the same guy, so... But he does bring his sword and shield, kind of. And... Uh... His Ocarina, but that gets stolen. And his horse also gets stolen. He didn't really have much else. I mean, he had the boomerang, but that was useless. He had the slingshot, but that was useless. Um... Yes, he is the phantom that teaches you sword techniques. He was a top knight, apparently. At some point in his life, whenever he grew up, he became a knight.
And yeah, he teaches you sword techniques that he never used. Though he does learn how to do sick flips, so, you know. There's that. Oh. This is the forest temple. Are you ready for the butts to come, Mimi Monk? Uh... Don't talk like that! You're making me nervous! Actually, they might be more related than in most games. Like, the Oracle games are all the Link to the Past Link, and also the Link's Awakening Link is the same guy. Hmm. You right? Green, white, green. It's Sila. Hiya! Thanks for summoning me! As a reward for your awakening me, I'll lend you my power one time. If you're close to running out of life, play the song and I'll come rescue you. Nifty, huh? And one more thing! You can't summon me just anywhere. Only a place with a strong energy like a temple or the Tower of Spirits. Goodbye! You got the Song of Healing! Also a different song. They're a little useless, yeah. I mean, if you're almost dead in a temple, and there are no pots around, then I guess it's useful. Where do we go? We're already stuck, guys. already reached the conundrum. And I don't think I can make that jump. Um... Did I forget something? Or I missed something and I'm blind. Why don't I have bat vision? can't make that jump. Zelda, go through the wall and hit that switch for me. That'd be great. Oh yeah, one, uh, real quick, one thing did change between versions that I played. I didn't get a wooden heart, I got this thing. From the guy who had me ram into a tree for bees. And I found this in a pot. You want some bee larva? These energizing larvae sell for quite a bit. I don't really know why. <laughs> But, um, I don't know what to do. I don't remember what to do here. Can I throw this at it? No, I got a dollar though. That's pretty cool. Ah, I can't throw that at it. I was smart. I just was at a weird corner. Do I have to blow to get rid of the poison smog? No. So, don't go that way. Alright, so I didn't miss anything. I just had to use my brain. Which is pretty rare for a first dungeon, I have to say. 
Usually the first dungeon that you go to is just holding your hands so tightly that you turn into a skeleton. Hey. So all your skin's gonna just snap off. You'd think it'd be the bones, but nope. Hundred dollars! Just for killing some acorns? I'll chop down a forest, please. Oh boy, there's so much poison schmog. And more killing, because the only function I have as a person is killing. Oh, not spiders. And they explode. Into poison? That would be awful if we had spiders that exploded into poison. I think that is a Pikmin enemy. Also, we're gonna get Pikmin 4 at some point. You got the whirlwind! Blow into the microphone to send a cyclone in the direction you're facing. Uh. <laughs> they went a little far with the microphone stuff. Yep. Literally... So far, like, that's been three functions. functions. I mean, both two of those are just the stupid flute, but... Eh, he's just gonna tell me if you blow in the... with the whirlwind, you can get rid of smog. This is just a, like, a personal fan, you know? The key is over a pit. What will I do? I know. I don't remember having to blow into the microphone so much. Is that a stamp? Uh oh. Am I gonna have to come back here for stamps? Don't breathe in. Just blow it away. Just blow away the poison. <laughs> I never did play Pikmin 3 on stream. Aha. Uh -huh. What does this do? It's Fox. This is a stamp station, but you don't have a stamp book. Oh, what a shame. Sorry, Reborn, I guess we'll just not get any stamps. But we'll get a lot of money. You can buy stamps with that, right? It's kind of a pain to reach up. Because I was watching a thing about Pikmin stuff, and... I kind of forgot that Pikmin 3 had the purple and white Pikmin in challenge mode, but they were awful. Haha, <laughs> I'm covered in poison smog. What are you gonna do, boy? Oh. A mild gust blew away my only means of attacking you. Well, uh. You don't wanna just play a game of cards? can't trust a skeleton in a card game. They always cheat. They're always hiding extra cards inside their skull. They'll distract you with some bone pun that makes you groan, and then they'll pull out a card from behind their eyes. I know how skeletons work. Lots of spoilers. Hmm, there's a switch over there. What could I possibly need to do? 
other than miss. I will fall into the abyss to pay for my crimes. Was this microphone gimmick really popular? I like the drawing on the map more than anything else, as they're little gimmicks. Like that one game that got a re-release on the Switch was really interesting because you had to like draw the map as you were exploring the dungeon, but then the core gameplay was just kind of bland. From what I remember. Huh. A giant moth with a giant eyeball. Why does it feel like I've seen this before? Haha, <laughs> you'll never get me with your sword, not while you- what? You can do that? That's cheating. I'm the one with lungs here. Well, it didn't work the second time either. What do I do? I was too early. Curses. Ow. To steal you darn floating moth. Okay, I did it. I figured it out. The objective was to be patient. good I am at being patient. Oh boy, twenty dollars. And here's the boss key behind a door. I wonder how to carry this one. Yeah, it looks like I do. Look at that keyhole, Mimi! I think you need a special key to unlock it. I mean, it's huge! And purple. What is this? What? Alright. The spiky monstrosity that explodes. My bad. I didn't expect it to explode. I thought it would just, you know, roll around at the speed of sound. My lungs are gonna collapse from all this blowing, even though I'm just pressing a button. Dang it! Don't jump off. There's something in there. I knew it. With my third eye. You got the pirate necklace. It's a necklace. Uh, it can only be worn by the one who's defeated by a pirate or something. I think is what it said. Now, I'm glad we don't have worms that explode. As far as I'm aware, at least. Oh, dang it. It was too slow. We also don't have worms that bark.
most of our insects are actually pretty boring. Because I'm sure if you're really into bugs, you're like, whoa, that's a really cool bug. You know, like the emperor beetle or whatever. That big key looks like it will open the door from the center of the room. Let's take it over there. Looks like a map of this room. What are these skulls? What does the arrow mean? Ah, oh, great. I wonder what the skulls mean, guys. Could it mean certain death? Look, perfect lines. Please ignore the arrow. Yeah, you're right. It's probably just another skeleton trying to get us into gambling. I know how skeletons work. Hmm, you don't even really need the... Yeah, you don't even really need the map. There's just very obvious swirls on the ground. Well, Mimi, how did you know that? Are you smart? Open the door. It's a weird gimmick to have the big keys actually, like, matter. Because then... All the other 3D ones... There's just another key. Step into the blue light, which is the temple entrance. When are we gonna get skeleton keys? That just open every door in a dungeon. Uh oh. Why did I mention the Emperor Beetle? Well, you come into my kingdom, kill my skeletons, and then say bugs are boring? I'll teach you a lesson. The Stagnox. And the Emperor Stag Beetle. That's his name. Now, I don't have a button for do I? Save progress? Yeah. You know, just in case something horrible happens. Save complete. In the game? No. Yeah, do this team. I can't have uh both things open. I can't have the controller and the drawing pad plugged in, so I'm using the keyboard. Isn't that fun? Actually, looks like it puts it away automatically, so that's nice. So I have to, like, reach up and put things down, though. Reach up and press the button. Ow. All right. Ugh, I never want to hear a bug do that kind of yell, growl like a tiger or a lion. Gonna play this way, kid. My servants are the bomb. That? I did it. Whoa. I'm glad he didn't squish me. I'm gonna be a bug pancake. And a new pancake for you. The link pancake with larval syrup. Doesn't it sound delectable? Link's voice does sound different. Okay. Your 
pesky worms are powerless when it comes to the might of my lungs. You know, my computer lungs. Ow, ow, okay. He roars like a lion, but he dies like a lion. And first dungeon complete. What the heck is this? Uh huh. Okay. Are we freeing them pieces of the Megazord? It's not gonna transform to a giant robot? Giant robot stag beetle? You'll go all the way to the tower! We did it. That should be enough to stop the Demon Lord, right? Good job, Mimi! Forest Rail Map started glowing! And we got a box! Look, Mimi! You can return the temple entrance from there. Let's go back. But first, a heart container. I kind of wonder if they'll ever make Goma into a, a significant character. I mean, we were talking about how the links aren't really, like, relevant to each other, but Goma's been around in almost every game. Maybe Goma gets reincarnated at the same time Link does. But they never acknowledge it. I'm sure that little moth creature was also Goma. It had a giant eyeball for some reason. Now we go back. Back to the spirit tower. Those are also everywhere. One of the more consistent enemies. But why? And what are they hanging from? Spiders can't just hang from the sky. I think. There's the real darkness of the world. There's a huge amount of spiders hanging from the sky. There is no moon, there is only spiders. There are multiple gomas. One was a scorpion, one was a spider, one was whatever Ocarina of Time's version is. Not really sure if it was a spider or a scorpion. It had a tail, so I guess it was a scorpion. Oh no! Evil trains! Ah, uh, conductor! Did your face just change? What was that? 
I don't know what just happened, but it doesn't look good. Let's just stay away from those trains. I think that would be best. Uh, Doctor, I need to go see my grandson, so... Yep, sorry, ma'am. We are on direction to destroy a small child. Hope it isn't your grandson. This should be fine. They're just on another train. Never be believe that your inductors cannot be influenced by evil. Here come the trains. I mean, really, they didn't need to make these guys evil. They already knew how to conduct themselves in an annoying way. Just in the tutorial of driving up here, they almost killed me. Oh well. Now they have silly faces. You just passed by the village and there's no children in sight. We did it. We're here now. I can't use my thing here. Darn it. Thanks to you two, the forest temple's been re-energized, and now the Tower of Spirits have been plenty whatever. What temple should we head for next? The next temple's deep in the mountains and closed off by snowstorms. But again, you must first obtain a rail map. Now the energy from the forest is flowing into the tower again. You can go further up the tower to the level of the next rail map. Ain't it quickly, you two? But you must get to the next temple soon. Got it, you can count on us. I can! Is one... Two, you have two eyes each, so that's one, two, three, four. Uh, all right, let's go to the second rail map, Mimi. What a weirdo. Look, Mimi. Oh, it's your favorite thing. The stairs go up higher than they did when we were here last time. Let's go to the new floor and find the next real map. What? Why am I weird? Nothing weird about this. Yo oh boy, more stairs. I mean, at least I don't have to repeat the first floor. But, still. Phew, it looks hot in here. Even with this clanky suit's armor is the last thing I want to do. But I'll do it if you think it'll help. Please. Well, I'm not looking forward to this. I hope I can endure the heat. What's this? Oh, it shoots flames. I just, just saw what it did. Ah, oh, and he can just walk through lava. Okay. Good to know that they are lava resistant. I am not. It does have armored Zelda, which adds a new layer of interest. What? I got a star fragment. Beautiful stone is rumored to have fallen from the sky. I guess that really is what the ow, Ocean King was missing. 
The only real puzzle was just running around. You can attack a fandom by hitting him in the back. Also, you're not timed, yes. But you can waste as much time as you want. Hey, look! Now that I'm a phantom, we can walk through fire and lava. Although she is in a suit of armor. Hmm. Hey, look! Now that I'm in a phantom, I can walk through fire and lava. <laughs> I'm like a walking, talking shield, Mimi. And not being timed is probably the best part, to be honest. Get a pirate necklace. You're gonna be worn by who is destined to become the leader of the pirates. Not the king of the pirates, that's copyrighted. But the leader. I bet they didn't time it because of stuff like this. Withstand any heat, so feel free to take a ride, hit your ride on my shield. Just tap to jump aboard and jump to jump off again, do a double tap, okay? Remember, you can only climb from someplace high, like a phantom. Let's see. Hmm? You may have spotted me, but you'll never follow me here. More like a... Oh, is he with you? Oh, my bad. I thought he was an intruder. You know how it is. Five dollars. They also give you a way to deal with the phantoms a little more easily right away. Like, early on, you could only really avoid them. But now, with the light in my blade, I can just stab them. And you get cool little puzzles like this. Who would... Who would ever imagine I'd, uh... Be traveling through lava. Stop getting off there. There. Alright, Zelda, get him. Good job. Can you collect hearts? You can collect hearts. Weird. Our hearts are as one, Mimi. down there. That was just a little imp thing. Well, no, he's fast. I see. Darn it. Oh yeah, did you miss this last time, Gum? She possesses one of the armors. Got him. Link was about to be stabbed and, you know, literally chopped in half. She dove into its back and took it over. And now she's our best friend in a suit of armor. Sadly, we don't know alchemy. Also, she's scared of rats, which is... 
actually, that, that, that does sound like Alphonse. He'd probably be scared of rats. Hmm. I think there was something he was really scared of. But you know they're gross. Yeah, there's nothing I can do up there. Come on, there's more lava this way. Good thing I don't have a real body. But she can apparently feel the heat. I mean, she would be pretty useless if Hades was around. Fishman. Ugh, what is that disgusting monster? Phantoms are terrifying, but at least they're not as revolting as that thing. Let's fight them together. Um. Nope, yep, that's not what I was trying to do. We'll make a swordsman out of you yet. Come on, Zelda. This is the perfect opportunity to stab him. There, jeez. It just didn't seem like the right thing to do to stab him in the back, you know? Is that really how swordsmen fight? We did it! We worked together, nothing out there can stop us, right, Mimi? And she should have tried, like, possessing something else, but... I guess the only thing she could have possessed in the dungeon was bugs. And she would be totally against that. Wait for me! I'm really slow in this giant piece of armor. What the heck is this? Zelda? Can you... Do something. No? Okay. I can do that? She's so heavy. How powerful are my lungs? I can lift up the phantom, but I can't lift up this rock. It's gotta be heavier than the rock. Hmm, I don't think I can do anything to him. You hop on my shield from that perch. What? Oh, I see. But how do I get over there? Wait. Aha! I scienced it out. I need something to block that flame. What could I possibly use? Oh yeah, my giant friend made a medal. But you know, I don't think of my friends as just obstacles. That would be rude. Got him. Uh oh. Oh. Huh. That was a much more peaceful explosion than I was expecting. Seemed like such a violent death. I was like, ah, just poof. Fine. Uh oh. A blockade. What will I do? But yeah, you missed the first dungeon. And also, we are on the PC emulator. Because for some reason, that one works. Why? I don't know. I, I gave up trying to figure it out.
but I would probably just blame the version on the Steam Deck being a little outdated. And also RetroArch is awful. Here we go! I bet there's a big old box up here! No? Just these things? Okay. Yeah, well it's best was not good enough. I was also annoyed that Retroarch, you know, when I lost all the data, uh, the reason I lost it is because I pressed escape to get out of a menu, and that closes the entire thing. There's not even, like, a confirm thing. Like, are you sure you want to turn this off? It's just gone. Oh. Yeah, I would get it if it wasn't running a game, but it knew it was running a game. I'm back to the way I was before, Mimi. Must mean the rail map is in this room. Possibly on this giant pedestal. You got the snow rail map! Now we can go up to Snowville, where there's a giant lock? Some of the last spirit tracks are on, on it are reappearing. Right, will we see Death Mountain, even though logically it could not be here? It was Death Mountain and the two peaks that are like in every Zelda game. I forget what they're called. Ah, you retrieved the second rail map. Then your next task is clear. Let's go to the snow temple and restore the flow of energy to the tower. Find the snow sanctuary where the locomo Steam resides and talk to him. He'll help you open the way to the temple. Let's go. Very well, be careful. Hmm. I am sad we don't get to wear the conductor's outfit. He should at least change hats while he's on the train. But yeah, I knew that it did that. I was just not careful. And forgot. I paid for it by having to play this game three times, though. But you can't say I'm not determined to beat a game. And you missed it. We restored some of the spirit tracks, and now there are evil trains trying to kill us. Ow. Ow. Also, there are apparently evil pigs trying to kill us. He's keeping a hit. This keeps up our train's gonna explode. Maybe we should go back to Castle Town and see if Alfonso can help us. All right. I guess that's the plan. Is that gonna be enough? No. Enough. It's so long since I've been home. I wonder how Fonzo and Teacher are. Are they gonna realize that I'm even dead? Save the game, just in case something terrible happens. I don't want to do all that again. The tracks are back! Isn't it just wonderful? Huh? Say so you're the one who restored them? Oh, stop pulling my leg! I mean, look how short they are! You have nothing to pull, really. Well, whatever. At least now I can have my fresh fish again. You should have to transfer some goods. Please bring me some fish. Okay... Do I do that? Oh, you hear the great news? Beer tracks are back, Mimi! I still wonder why the tracks vanished in the first place. Wasn't that weird? I bet it's those darn pigs. Try to blow up all the trains. I bet they're tearing up the tracks too. Mail. 
Hey, how's it going? Hey, 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 howdy, mister. Greetings, I'm here with a letter from Alfonso Miba. Totally recently suffered a nasty injury. Put that on the mead. They're mid. Where was I? Oh, yeah, your letter. Sorry, it's easy to track. Here you go. You got the mail. Hey, right, delivered your mail. Safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around. Oh, he's imitating a train. I was gonna ask why he walks like that, but he's supposed to be a train. I get it. Dear Mimi, sorry I wasn't able to help you more. That guy really did a number on me. I was feeling pretty rough for a while. Look, I'm feeling better now. Would you mind coming to get me at the castle and take me back to the Aboda village? Thanks. How fun to. Press so many buttons. I think he was in the med bay, which was on the left? Yeah, I've been there three times, I think I remember. There he is! Ah, oh, Mimi, so you got that letter, do you? You got that thing I sent you? Hello, Eldie, hope you got that thing I sent you. And hope you're having a good day. I could finally get around on my own again, but what hurts what most of my pride? How can I... Fail to defeat the princess. Defend the princess. Uh, truth is... What's that? Princess Spirit is here now with us. You had to go to the snow room to get her body back. Uh, normally I'd say you were crazy. And ya. Yeah, but you seem pretty serious. Thing is, from here on out, gonna be a lot of monsters. An ordinary train like yours isn't gonna be able to stand up to them. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're not having a good day. I hope I can make it a little brighter. Um, uh, do you know this game at all? Because I don't know what you missed. The princess is dead, and her ghost is haunting us, demanding that we save her body from the evil demon king. Is that a good enough summary? <laughs> ah, I have an idea, but we have to go back to a home to a boat of village first. Use your new train to take me back there. I'll be waiting at the station. How did I know you have a new train? Don't worry about it. If we don't save her body, then the demon king will take over her body and rule the world. She will become the Demon Queen. Ah, you again. This is Princess still hasn't returned. Very troubling. Whatever should I do? Teacher, I'm right here. Oh, Drad, he can't hear me. Mimi, please tell Teacher that he doesn't have to worry about me. What was that, young man? You mean the Princess Spirit is here right now? Uh, yes, of course. Of course. You talk as if she passed away! How incredibly insistent of you. Sure, she's just wandering somewhere. But if, but if I sent soldiers out looking for her, the kingdom would panic. Suppose I'll have to go out and find her myself. Move aside! <sighs> Guess no one's gonna believe us. Come on, let's hurry and get my body back. I have to let the teacher know I'm okay. Yeah, she's the imposter queen. But yeah, there is an evil demon that was wearing two hats to hide his horns, and no one thought that was suspicious. And he's been slowly destroying the train tracks around the realm. And eventually he got to the point where he was able to break apart the Demon King's seal. But he needs the princess's body in order to give him a new body to take over. Basically the same story as Thousand Year Door, in a way. Only instead of going around and getting the keys, we're putting things back together. Alright, let's get back to Aboda Village. Okay. All aboard! Haha, <laughs> no princess to steal it this time. Come on, let's head back to Aboda Village. Yep. Who are you saluting? No one here. Alright, now we have to go back to Aboda Village and hopefully not die. Right? There we go. And I hope you like this tune because this is the entire game. I bet I'm gonna have to go... I'm gonna have to go around that little square to the left. Yeah, it's calming until there are things on the trails that just interrupt it. Actually, 
I'm gonna have to go around this way, because otherwise that train's gonna hit me for sure. But there can be things on the tracks like pigs and monsters and here's what you do to get rid of them. That's it. Uh oh. Might have been a mistake. This train's gonna hit me. I'm gonna get you, guy. Uh oh. Mimi! I think that's just death. It's pretty calming, huh? Well, well, we did it. Yeah, when two trains collide, things go pretty bad. Yeah, I definitely should have stopped and gone in reverse or something. To escape certain doom. I can't believe you would say yay. Mimi's dead, random. Now I have to go through all this again. This isn't gonna work. Hang on. Reverse. You know you like it when you can just turn your train around? Uh, and he's gonna go around that way too. Oh, he's going around that way. I'm trapped. Just kidding. No one ever said I had to go there in a stream, huh? Partly because that'd be impossible, but also... I can just go in reverse. Who's gonna stop me? There are no cops on these tracks. I am wondering if I have enough power to get away from them, though. Go faster, please. He's going that way, so I'm gonna go... I don't know. This way? And now that he's in front of me... I don't have to worry about him ramming into me. There are no ghost cops. Otherwise, Zelda would have been arrested years ago. We did it. We have to go through the woods, but it's fine. I don't think the trains can follow us in there. I ain't afraid of no ghost cops. What are they gonna do? Pelt me with ghost bullets? No. Oh. There are spiders, though. I don't want to deal with a spider cop. I'm trapping me in their web of laws and lies. Alright, that was a mess, but we did it. I avoided death. Who 
be nice if we could bring a suit of armor along with us for Zelda. Look out, there's an animal on the tracks. Can't you see? If I just hold this down, they're not going to get any closer. Why are elephants attacking me? Of all the things to lunge at me for death, an elephant's not one of them that I would expect. Alright, we're back home! where we grew up. Presumably. A perfect stop. What fine looking train, if you don't mind me saying, and I mind. That ride was smooth as silk. Can't believe we got such a nice train from the Tower of Spirits. But like I said, I don't think you can handle, any, handle the dangers you're likely to face. Let me rig something up for you. Don't worry. It won't blow you up. If you're careful. Uh, it's gonna take some time to get ready. Come back here in a while. Why don't you go visit old Nico while you're waiting? Sure, will be happy to see you. Uh, I'm not gonna be happy to see him, though. A louder horn. Perfect. Huh? Ah, why are you dressed like a soldier? Get at me. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. It's an amazing question, though. Hey, look who's back. Back again. How was the ceremony? Wait a second, have you and Junior's clothes always been that green? I don't know, they're all gonna think I'm a soldier. Oh my, you're a full fledged engineer now. Graduating from the beginning, and I wish you all the best. Did you go tell Nico yet? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm glad to see you're not entrapped in rocks again, ma'am. Ah, uh, that was just a fad. It faded out. Nico. Mm, hi there, BB Bok. How was the ceremony? You're finally a real engineer. Ah, this is a happy day. How long has it been? Why are you dressed like a soldier? It's strange. You look like a friend of mine from when I was a young man. Yeah, do, do I now? I, I wonder why that is. Also, how old is Nico? Hmm, I guess he's in his hundreds, at the very least. That reminds me of something. So you can travel all over the by, oh, uh, all over the world by train now. Would you mind doing me a favor for old Nico here? A favor? Back in the day, I used to love traveling. I visited so many exotic places. Every place I'd go, there'd be a situation where I could get a special stamp. No! I thought we avoided it. Never did figure out who built those stations. Anyway, collecting these stamps is a way to rec record my travels. Love those little stamps more than anything, but back then, didn't have anything to be to stamp them in. The sad state of affairs. Brings me to that favor I was talking about, Mimi. Use this stamp book to collect those stamps for me. Here it is. You got the stamp book. Get stamps from every part of the world for Nico. Please collect a whole mess of stamps for me. Get a lock or give you something special. Do I have to? Would you like to stamp Nico's stamp book? Now it has to be in the center of the page, right? Huh. That is the actual date, too. Scary. No, now everyone will know what days these were recorded at. Not that that matters, but... Yay, Mimi Bob! Did he steal my train? have that many VOD watchers that I'm aware of. 
That's not a horn. Thought you got here just in time. Check this out, Mimi. Took this off a ship. It's a cannon for your train. With this baby, you can smash through boulders. Even knock out any baddies that get in your way. Now that you got this, you should head to the snow realm. You gotta help out the princess. We're counting on you, Mimi. Uh, this cannon's just what we need. Now we can head into the snow realm. Let's go. Okay. All the board. Why does it feel like someone stole my line? Who are you saluting? There's someone over there? I don't see anyone. There's someone beyond the realm? <sighs> know where we have to go first. Do we take a stop at the temple? I know where that one is. I don't remember if there's one at the castle. But look, Alfonso left a structure for the cannon. To fire the cannon, calm down and focus on what you want to hit. And very smoothly, just tap your target. Your pal, Alfonso. That's the end of it. Shall I read it again? That's okay. Let's try it out right now. Boom. Boom. Now yeah, look at the range. Oh yeah, I love how two-dimensional this tree is. Got him. What does this do? It's dead. Now I have something to do. I can shoot birds again. I can't shoot trees though. They are beyond my power. The true evil of this realm. I found you, bunny! Where'd he go? Cleaning up the field of all the rocks in the world. Oh, yeah, I guess I should speed up. There's an animal on the tracks. I won't hit the piggies. Except for the evil ones, I will probably hit those. confidence that I'll be able to stop in time for that thing to not kill me. You know what I mean? Can I blow it up? Nope. That would be too easy. Surely was like a group of people on those trains. What are they doing? Welcome back to Whittleton, home of the Whittles. What's in the shop? I've got money. That's a skull. You have a lot of items, so uh, please feel free to look around. That's a treasure item, 100 rupees. Prize postcards, 100 rupees. Mail them and you could win something big. Do we want prize postcards? Should we gamble? Hmm. Tails. No, no gambling, okay. I might buy a potion, though. Oh, that's a hundred rupees? Jeez. It's gone up by 20 rupees since a hundred years ago. It costs just as much to gamble, but it... Oh yeah, the thing was probably up here. Can I blow down bees? There are 20 stamps. Uh... One for each dungeon, one for each town. 
I don't remember if there was one in... There's a stamp. I don't remember if there was one in Castletown. I don't think I saw one, but... It might be behind the... ta -da. Might be behind the stones I can't break. Not until I get bombs. Rude. do anything there. Oh, I need a grappling hook for this. Or whatever the item's called. Well, we have two. There's another one in the forest temple I can grab. Uh, I don't think there was one with Gage. Stamps alone are probably an achievement. A spoiler, huh? Alright, I can't hit you. So go away. If I ruin all of the signs, then no one will be able to follow me. It's the perfect crime. dollar to his name. But, that's what you get for diving in front of the train. Like so. Ah, the Sweeney ones have five dollars. They got Sweeney lessons. Here's the dungeon you may or may not have missed. Of course, it's in the forest. Just like a lot of the Zelda temples always start in the forest. Yep. Or at least a foresty area. Majora was in a swamp, but it was surrounded by trees. It counts. Yep. Hello, poison beetles. Excuse me. I need your stamp. Dinah. No one told me wind doesn't go through walls. Of course I want to stamp the stamp book. Alright. Three stamps down. Which is also probably a band name. Mm. 
Now we leave. I just came here for your stamps. This temple means nothing to me. And what if this is all a trick? What if by restoring the temples we're actually helping the bad guy? We may never know. Can't wait to get a fast travel function. Surely that exists in this game, right? Right? Surely it's not trains all the way down. Oh, I got a heart. As a random topic, even though this has nothing to do with random, uh, I have been getting recommended the old Among Us videos uh -oh. from someone I watch. It's like I kind of regret not being involved at all with that whole thing when it was popular. Like, I'm sure it's still played quite a bit by a lot of people, but... Yeah, all the big names have stopped playing it. Rabbit Land Rescue! What the heck is this? But I only played it like twice, and then we never played it again. Don't worry though, I have no plans on starting to play it. Too many bad memories, why? A lot of people yelling at each other. We never really had people yelling at each other. At least the two times I played it. People being jerks. Yeah, of course. True colors come out when you want to win. Of course, my strategy was to never lie. Just not tell the whole truth. And you know what? It worked once. I made, well, I don't know if I would say I impressed Taco, but he did say I was really smart, because I called out that he and Lori were the, definitely the imposters, like round one. And it was true. And they were apparently scared that I knew it was them. So that was fun. I don't really remember any other scene from that, because I was still learning how everything worked. Nothing more rapidly in rescue of a haver and a haven for rabbits and their furthest friends. Millions of poor rabbits without a home and a human command chip. Here at Rabbit Land Rescue, we save these bunnies from the harsh wilderness, provide them with much needed frolicking. You are here to frolic with the bunnies, right? Uh, no. I guess you're too young to understand the importance of helping those in need. If that's the case, why don't you just go back to playing engineer? Sure am. Let me be 120% clear. If your heart's not in it, you're gonna be, get burned. Are you sure you want to frolic with the bunnies? Of course. Okay, I'm convinced. That's all it takes. Just two yeses. You want to join the Rabbit Land family, you need this. You got the Rabbit Net! Try using this while you're riding the train. I don't mind to give you a net. Because well, if you want to frolic, you gotta work for it first. I mean, what can a person frolic with a bunny someone else caught? Rabbit Land Rescue takes care of the bunnies you get while you frolic with. We even frolic with them when you're too busy to stop by. That goes against what you just said. Yeah, but never mind those little details. Now you know what we're about. Does everything I said seem make sense to you? Uh, yeah. yeah I'd like to touch on how you use the net to catch furry friends. You may have figured it out for yourself already, but let's review, shall we? When driving around, you may see a bunny peeking out from behind something. When you spot one, blow your whistle. The rabbit will jump easy to spot. When you see that, blast it whatever the bunny's hiding behind with your cannon. How do I know you have a cannon? Shut up. Rabbit will try to run from you, but only because it likes being chased. And then the hunt is on. Are we... Do we... Should I sign up with this guy? He doesn't seem very... There. 
Once the hunting starts, you'll automatically pick up your net. Then just focus on tapping the rabbit with the right timing to catch it. If you're careful, you'll have an adorable bunny in the hand before you know it. But if you fail to catch it, the rabbit will run out before long. Hopefully you follow that long explanation of mine. Sure did. Wonderful. Now go catch some of those poor homeless rabbits and tote them back to me. Got lots of great prizes for you, depending on how you bring how many you bring back. Uh-huh. Are we sure this guy is uh safe? Hunting poor homeless rabbits and then forcing them into I don't know, probably slavery. Making them do whatever the heck is going on here. Which seems to be nothing? Hmm. Not even a box around here. Well, okay. I got a rabbit net. Might as well use it. But yeah, people were, could be jerks, but I'm sure there was a lot of other fun times, maybe? I don't know. They were at least fun videos to watch. I have some regret of you know, not being a part of any of that, but eh. maybe when the next fad catches on. Although right now that seems to be VTubing and I don't really know how to do that. Or how I do that. So me. Alright, keep an eye out for adorable little rabbits. You never know when they could be hiding in plain sight. Oh no, the pigs! They're back! Like how they're considered monsters. And also, they have lunch money. Which is mine now. I guess the weirdest part about Among Us is that they didn't really do much with it. They added the whole shape-shifting update and then that was kind of it. With how popular it was, you'd think it would have become a huge thing that just stuck around, but nah. At most, the beans stuck around. Everyone loves drawing those beans. Is that why you didn't like it? You were too good of a bean. Look, it's snowing! I haven't seen snow for years. Miranda was too good of a bean. You couldn't stab anyone. Out of character, I know. Oh, whoops. Let's put it on slow. Gotta keep an eye out for rabbits. Very, very quiet, Mr. Train. With a giant horn. I'm hunting rabbits. Doesn't seem like there's anything around here. No snow bunnies. predict what the next big fad's gonna be? Obviously, it's gonna be Zelda. Which is probably true. We'll definitely be playing that game when it comes out. And you'll all be spoiled. Yeah, the day that comes out, I'll probably just like... I don't know. Go buy it, get a pizza, and then we'll just play it all day. Have they announced what date it is? I know it's in April, right? This place is freezing. I can't really say for sure, seeing as how I have no body. You got me. Shut up. I don't have anybody. Not even you. I can't possess you and feel your chill. But enough talk. We should head to the vill- Go and ask the villagers about the locomo in this realm. No mail. Is it gonna be the walrus guys again? Oh, was it in May? I thought it was April for some reason. Hmm. 
What's coming out in April that I was thinking of? I think Mega Man's coming out. And it's the walrus guys again. Hey guy, what you doing all the way out here in the snow? You part of snowman? What? What, what? Do I know a fella named Steam? Do you? Steam, 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 Steam. God, I got it. Extreme. Extreme rhymes with Steam. How good am I? I guess you don't need a rhyme, did you? Well, that's all I got. Need another type of answer? Go talk to the village honcho. These guys have changed. Yeah, April 14th is Mega Man. Neat. I don't know. I'm frozen. Uh-oh, that didn't really work as well as I was hoping it would. Oh, look at the little wolf. Look at the adorable wolves trying to kill me. I'm walking to my circle of death, little wolves. Oh, that doesn't feel good at all. Hey, look, a stamp. Hang on, Wolf. I got a stamp station. Ta-da! Quality stamp! Well. My inability to keep still has allowed us to find a stamp station. Which means the one in Castletown probably is hidden somewhere. These spear jacks are clearing out. The monsters are popping up everywhere. I tell you, us Anukis are having a tough time and things right now. You see, we're a gentle bunch. We're thinkers, not fighters. Plus, we don't really got a guts for stuff like Monster Hunt. You gotta help us. Hmm. Still not really sure what we'll do with Mega Man Battle Network. I guess... I guess the easy answer is I'll turn it into the trophy game and we'll just go around getting trophies. And we'll do the post game. Which I kind of skipped for all of them. Poor base. No one in here, just creepy heads on the walls. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Hmm? Yellow, orange, blue. I didn't see the first orange. How do you get that from... From four notes? A box? You got the Song of Discovery! Play it to find hidden objects. Will I know when to play that? Soft borks. You're looking for the honcho of this place, you're staring right at him. What's that? Look, you ain't looking for the village honcho. Hi, honcho. Got a good head on your shoulders, guy. Enough about me, is there a reason you want to talk to me? What's that? You want to go to the snow sanctuary? Track's going that way, you're all gone, guy. Honestly, though, when the tracks disappeared, uh, us and Nukies were shot. Not only were the tracks gone, but the monsters started popping up, too. When we're real by now, there's danger about every corner. You just gotta help us. Seriously, guy. Please. Sorry about that little outburst. Other newbies can get a little fiery sometime. Anyway, I'm trying to put together a village watch to deal with our problem. I think it pays the villagers to work best. Safety in numbers, you know. Catch all that, green guy? I follow. I don't really have time to go yak it up about going to the snow sanctuary. Might be able to chat more if you'd help us old timer organize some teams. What do you say, pal? Uh. I'm just looking for steam. That's cold. Ugh. Fine, I don't have a choice. Think you're up to the task, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a real capable look to you. Well, do your best, but don't get worked up with going gets a little tough. Most of the villagers are a little picky about who they'll partner up with. Pairing them off's gonna be a pain, but I think you got it under control. Talk with folks in town. Come tell me when you gotta find the best parents. 
Catch all that? Uh, gotta arrange six villages, including yours truly, into three pairs. I'm happy pairing up with any old Anuki, but some villagers might be more picky. Talk to the villagers, take note of their preferences, and find good pairs. Ugh. Maybe give a quiet task. Let's start by talking to all the local villagers, and maybe giving them a less annoying voice. Hey, guy, name's Kofu. Nice to meet you, pal. You're the guy putting together pairs for the watch. Can't wait. My thoughts? I won't work with anyone who's got a big horn like mine. Uh-huh. Mine are the best of the best of villagers, maybe the best of the world. Now you know my only request, pal. Find me a good partner, okay? Thanks. Okay, so he won't pair with horns. Big horns. That means... You'll only go with those two. I hope you appreciate my drawings. Hey there, pal. Named Bulu. What's that? No, no, not Boohoo. Ugh, that gag is old as a village honcho. You're the guy making pairs? He must be really bored. I mean, it's really, really nice to help us out with this. Just remember this. I can't stand Anukis who throw out their facial hair. I think they're so great. I mean, who do they think they are? Bleh. Okay. Uh, that's not a mustache. Okay, so you'll go with that one and that one. Makes the middle one very popular. Are you even here? Nope. Oh, it's you. Hey pal, here you find partners for the goodness of your heart. Real nice of you. Maybe I can repay you in kind. No need. I really do love doing good just for the loving of doing good. That's real bright heart for you, guy. No small talk. How you doing? Call me Noko. It's Anuki's only pair up with folks we find agreeable. Me and my biggest gripe is guys wearing yellow. I mean, blech. Agreed. Whoops. Ignore that. I don't even know what that does. So... As far as I'm concerned, outside of bananas, nothing looks good in yellow. Agreed. Oh man, I do love a good banana, though. Anyway, good talking to you, pal. Well, I, I guess lemons look okay. Are you in your house? Better us up and take out those monsters, yeah? All right. I, for one, am pumped up and ready to send those jokers running for the hills. Want to know my name, huh? I go by Agent Yellow. I mean, since we're forming elite teams, figuring I need a code name. Seriously, though, my real name is Yufu. Get down to business. Partner needs to move freely in the fields. No flashy horns are made or no no. Keep it simple, like. That rule may save you in the field one day. Okay. No flashy horns. So, again, no big horns. And no, I don't just say this because I got small horns. My notes are a mess, but I understand them and that's all that matters. You all can judge me if you want. Hey, little green guy, here you helping out the honcho from the monster hunting teams. Pity, yeah, I really do. See, us Anukis can be pretty peculiar. Not only you could, of course, I'm a real peach. I just go one deep breath. It's not gonna mean any names, but there's one guy in the village I can't stand. He's got wimpy horns and dresses in blue. The only one Anuki who fits that description, you should know who he is. Follow on this, good to see you. Okay. You don't like them. Yeah, I understand my notes. 
This guy hates big, fancy horns. This guy hates facial hair. This guy hates the color yellow. This guy also hates horns. And this guy... Just hates this guy. <laughs> Alright, so based on that... Um... See, these two can probably go together. This guy can probably go with this guy. And this guy can go with the chief, because he doesn't care. Right? Does that make sense? Did I miss something? sense to me. There's a crack in the wall over there. Hey, hey, it's my guy! Got the patrol team ready? I knew you'd come through for me. Give me the lowdown. Uh... Booyah! There you go. You know what? Things are gonna work out perfect. Uh, I mean, you just backed up what I was already expecting. Then you need to double check for me. Just the same. Here's a thank you gift. Got a red rupee. Why are you hanging around here, guy? I thought we were all done. Actually... Oh, right. I'm so jazzed about getting the team together. I almost forgot. You are trying to make your way to the snow sanctuary, weren't you? Being with steam, right? Well, it was a pain to get there, but here's the deal. Good news that the snow sanctuary isn't that far from here. Right over there. Bad news, there's only one out, way out there is out of commission. Technically speaking, there's a tunnel that goes there still intact. No one used it since the ginormous monster moved in a few years back. See us and Nukies are thinkers, not monster fighters. I can tell you cut from a different cloth than us. Sturdier cloth. Green. Sure, the tunnel of the snow sanctuary is scary, but you could handle it. Here's the entrance. If you decide to use it, be careful in there, okay? Okay. You're a good guy, I hate to see you get hurt. Plus, look like a doof have got out that showed you how to get there. I'm not really a detective, though. Do I look like Sholmes to you? Just putting that there just because. And now you'll just see this huge mess on the top of the screen. Forever. I wonder if that was the perfect way to do that. So I'm glad we found out to get to the Snow Sanctuary. It took quite a bit of work to get the information, but now our course is clear. Yeah. Here we go! I don't like the way this song is revving up. It's like an ominous country song. Start! Got one! That was it. That was it? Alright. Very, very quiet. I'm having an easy time catching rabbits. Not the pigs. I'm guessing maybe there are multiple rabbits that can show up. That are just, you know, raving. If I had to use a certain word for it. That's a big crab! Yep. Is this Goma? Is this the Goma crab? Ow! 
What in the world was that? Close your eyes when you're traveling in the dark. You never know when someone's gonna shoot you with a cannon. I hate bugs. Uh, I guess that's technically a bug. It's a bug of the ocean. Although this one... Might be a little different. And I bet now you want crab. Some crab rain meat. Why haven't we made it out of here yet? Come on, man. We literally haven't even moved on the map. That's uh, so fast. The dead? Do I win? Nope. They're just getting mad. Ow. I did it! Well, that was easy. Did we get train parts in this game? I don't remember. It'd be fun to train up our train. What was that, that thing back there? Never seen a bug that size. People weren't meant to go there. Let's never go back, Mimi. You understand, don't you? No going back there, okay? Yeah, how do we leave? It doesn't matter. We'll live here. We'll create our new house, our new lives in the snow temple. It's fine. Hello. Hey guys, this is my Nuki General Store. Got everything you need? Check it out. I've been so lonely up here. Is he selling a heart? It's only 2,000 rupees. I have to rip out and sell my own heart to buy that. How much money do they expect me to get? Alright, well, we're not 100%ing this game. Get out of here! Bad wounds. In 2000, clearly. At least I don't have to go find wallets for that, I just have the max money I can hold. Right away. Hey, look, a stamp. Oh, that means there probably is one in the sanctuary. I'll have to go back there later. In the forest sanctuary, I mean. What? Are these wolf fish? Or no, that's not their mouth at the front. That's their little legs. They're all leaping forward. That's what I'll choose to believe, and not believe that they are actually fish. Saba Wolf. Oh no, I didn't mean to fall down, but... I'm taking you down further. The wolves of the sea. I mean, we have catfish. Why not wolf fish? <laughs> ah! I'm free. I can't kill you yet. No! Uh, uh, what do I do? Ah! This is really bad. So awkward to use an item. Good thing I can rock it with my health insurance. Uh-oh. When the door opens, head to the far room without being seen. And do it before time runs out. Okay. Well, time for this nonsense. Mm-hmm. 
I think this is a fun gimmick, right? It's a little tedious, but not majorly so. Hmm. There's two different pathways. I mean, this one's clearly superior. Right? Oh wait, this guy's blocking me entirely. Never mind. There's only one pathway. Nice to meet you at this cliffside uh, gathering. I'm going. Stop your beeping. They made it. Now, Mr. Steam. Why did you, uh, have a bunch of guardian statues outside your door? How do you leave? Excuse me, are you the guardian of this realm? And Jean told us you'd be here. Oh, nice to meet both of you. My name is Steam, and I am indeed the guardian of the Snow Realm. Not hard to pick up this old guy out from a crowd, is it? <laughs> oh, I've heard all about you two. You want to restore the spirit tracks, is that correct? Wrong Amundo. Such exuberance, such vigor than that voice. Now that, my boy, is a rich pry. I, I thought someone else was talking. You've shown a great bravery coming here, and it sets my heart to soar. You possess a power vital in restoring the lost spirit tracks. Have you heard of the Song of the Locomos? Yeah. As you know, the songs are made up of two instruments that play different parts. I'll teach you your part now, so listen closely and then play as I play. When you've got it down, set it down to your flute for just a moment. I think I got it. If I don't, oh well. Excellent! Now how about a real performance? We'd like to practice first. Let's just perform, doesn't matter. Don't let my pot distract you. improvisational with your notes. Not the kind of song, focus on playing the notes from practice. Don't let my pot confuse you. Stop looking at me before you're done then. I can play the dang flute. Remember when this was just pressing buttons and that was it? I have to blow into a flute. I think I'm not holding the white one long enough. That definitely wasn't long enough. Are you having fun? Hmm. 
There we go. Steam! The locomotive returned to the snow realm. The snow realm map has been tired of glowing. Now there's a whole lot of garbage on the map. Doesn't that look fun? I haven't been that nervous about performing in I don't know how long. But now the spirit tracks of the, to the snow temple have been restored. Go forth and may luck be with you. Oh, but there's one thing I should warn you of. Ferocious blizzards have been savaging the area around the temple. Be careful on your journey there. Well done, Mimi. Now let's head for the Snow Temple. Thank you so much, Steam. Ho ho! Good luck, good luck, you two. No, there's nothing in here for you to steal. Get out of my dang house. Alright, fine. You think they would have more to their house, considering it's a house. But nope. Here we go. See a massive improvement from yesterday. We're gonna be doing another dungeon. Like that random train on the right. Keep an eye out for those darn rabbits. Like that one right there. What the start thing? I'm clicking right on it. No, the rabbit. I apparently wasn't supposed to click on it. I got lucky last time. Evil snowman. I was prepared for you to snow me. Oh, that's pretty neat. You can see the tower floating over there. Kind of a grim reminder that if you don't hurry up, the entire world will fall in darkness. But... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Alright, what do we do in the blizzards? I can't see anything. Is that the only threat? It's awfully cold. Or at least I assume it's cold. I don't really have skin. That's not how trains work. Well, that's odd. Where are we exactly? Hmm. Seems the blizzard pushed us back to where we came. Hmm. Well, now what? I guess we go talk to the Anukis again. Uh... 
Because I know steam isn't going to help us. I can feel it in my bones. What the? You just shot off my head. I was coming to say hello. Snowmen are very smart. They can easily just put their sentient heads on top of a dinosaur story. Snowmen. Dang it. What? Is that where I clicked? I got one. Barely a second to spare. Make your body into a dinosaur. Or maybe the body is the sentient part. That guy just regrew his head. All I'm saying is we could have brought Frosty the Snowman back and made a dinosaur. A sentient snow dinosaur. His, his sentience came from his hat. I'm glad we don't have any, like, mystery deaths on our train. That would be the worst. Go talk to the honcho first. Hey, but my favorite green guy! You see that monster in the tunnel? What was that? You wanna pass through that blizzy area? Thing is, the storms there will just blow you back to the where you started. What was that? How do you get past him? Boy, guy, you don't just stop with the questions, do you? Oh well, your pals, of course I'll tell you. Please do. The truth is, I don't really know what to tell you. I've had those fierce snowstorms ever since the spirit tracks disappeared. I mean, so pretty much no one can even get near the place. There is one guy off in the eastern fields who goes nuts about trains. I think he's over by the name of Ferris or something like that. Why don't you ask him if there's a safe way through that mess? Ha! How's that for a great idea? Not the honcho for nothing, you know. Do we know that guy? The name doesn't really ring a bell. Mean looking train is spotted around the fields of the east. Me, I'm no fan of high speed danger. But this cuckoo lives out there is all excited about the whole thing. Yeah, his name is Fierce, he just goes gagging over trains. What a weirdo. Why is it lagging? I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, I see why it's lagging. Steam started updating. Something. Darn it, Steam. Hey, look, pal. Think about a fierce fence to keep the monsters out. Thing is, we don't have enough lumber to finish it. Talk about frustrating. Don't suppose there's a chance you'll come up with some lumber, huh? I'm not that kind of train. I'm sorry. From the plains to the east. You ready to go? So the place with the giant evil train is where I need to go. Great. I'm sure I won't explode. Why would I explode? Do you expect me to explode? That's rude. Onward. Trains a real lot. Great. Will it be someone we know? Could be one of the old pirates, but seems like a lot of them are just gone. Or, you know, their kids have taken over. Like Alfonso. I 
I refuse to believe that Alfonso is related to that pirate. I'm reluctantly agreeing that uh, this link is not related to the other link, but come on. Snowman, who's out here building demons. Yeah, this is also one of the games that doesn't have Ganondorf around. Yeah, neither did Phantom Hourglass, but... Bellum, or whatever their name was, was uh, not exactly an exciting boss. Another place. Is there a stamp here? That's the real question. Ring is absolutely beautiful and deserted. I'd say there's no souls here, but that would be a little redundant. Hello, wolves. There's the stamp. I can't swim. Dang it. You can't dodge my blade. If square doesn't really tell me much, I'll put an S for stamp. There. It could also be an S for snake. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a note on top of the desk. Need to get these shots of the new hot new trains. I'll try these spots. Uh-huh. I think this is the spot. Locomotive musings by Ferris. You know those archway gates you see in the rails sometimes? Who made them? When? And why? I was up all night pondering these questions, but I worked out a hypothesis. I think you could use them to break space-time continuum. Cool, huh? Seem to be two types of these space-time gates. Pretty sure you can use both of them to warp from place to place. One type is a triangle top for the arch, and the other doesn't. I think they work in pairs, and then just hitting the triangle does something. Try throwing a rock at the gate triangle to south of Nuki Village. The bummer of all bummers. I couldn't reach it. I guess my arm's too weak. Well, I'm sorry, a new push-up regimen until I can hit that darn thing. Well, he's committed to the bit. Something right there. I'm assuming I can't get that stamp box. How annoying. I'm surprised that anyone lives all the way out here. It's awfully remote. You want to get going? But pretty sure we found our fast travel system. You know, other games have you fly in tornadoes. This game breaks the space-time continuum in order to warp you into another place of being. Neat, huh? If we 
we break the space time continuum enough times, maybe we'll go into the past. And we'll be the link. We'll be the hero of time and winds and spirit. Are we the hero of spirit or the hero of trains? Hmm. I'd probably go with spirit. Because that seems sillier. Oh my gosh, you stepped. Uh, so how's it rolling? When I first saw you driving the spirit train, I freaked. I was like, holy cow, it's the spirit train. So you're the guy who went and became an engineer. Be me back with it. I'm Ferris. When it comes to trains, I'm kind of an expert. You know, everyone else is too spooked to take their trains anyway right now. But here you are, driving away. Very interesting. You just gotta tell me where you're headed. Uh, the temple. Really? You're headed to the snow temple? Chugga chugga wow! That place is impossible to get to you with, with all the blizzard and all. But they hear the tracks leaking, the towers, the spirits, and the temple are safe. As in, they're protected from the storms. How cool is that? See, maybe you look, it took those tracks. Uh, you might be able to reach the temple. Oh, I just remembered I have an old map of the tracks around that area. Some parts are out of date, but the spirit tracks you're looking for are there. Now oh, I gotta blow again? Please. Okay. They really love this gimmick, you know? Also, I like how this was almost exactly the route I took. Except I didn't go down at the end. How'd it go? Were you able to decipher your path? No sweat. Well, if you ever want to look at my map, you can just stop by. For now, I'll be trying to catch some of the killer picks on locomotives in action. Here we go! Bye! I'm going backwards. Uh oh. Well, we'll stop at the station to turn around, I guess. I thought it would just, you know, work. Chugga 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 wow! Chugga wow indeed. I wish I could get that stamp. I feel like I'll forget. Here we go. Once again. Yeah, it was another random topic. I was trying to think of what I would... Uh-oh. There's no one on the path. I was still trying to think of what I would think of trying to speedrun. Like, a lot of my games that I want to play again and again are really difficult to speedrun. Some of them are RPGs, Al. And a lot of those are just little gimmicks, speedruns. Like, if you want to play them right, you have to be really, really good at one specific thing. Like Thousand Year Door, you have to be really good at blocking, or really good at the multi-bounce. And I'm bad at both of those. I mean, obviously I need to practice either way, but... It's hard to bring up that drive of one to practice those. Yeah, 
that makes any sense. But... I also briefly thought, like... What if I sped run Origami King? And I couldn't stop myself from immediately laughing. It's like, <laughs> no. Thanks for the suggestion, Brain, but I think I'll... I think I'll avoid that one. Just imagine a speedrun where you see your bomb friend die a thousand times. Just to learn the route. We had to fight colored pencil a thousand times. Get out of here, snowman. Yeah, I don't know what I would speedrun if I got back into it, other than going back to Link's Awakening. Which is a thought. But that's what I would. Or even Shantae. I didn't really look into the Seven Siren speedrun because it was just so different from Half Genie Hero. But that would be a thing to do if I didn't know what to do. Why is Frosty trying to kill me? It's a good thing Frosty doesn't have hair. He would definitely have frosted tips. Or frosty flakes. Why? Why are there so many snowmen? Go away. Yeah, there's my random input on speedrunning. So it looks like everyone's dead. Not reborn, but at least we act as speedrunning organically. His favorite game. But here's the snow temple. I'm gonna save right after we get off. Just to make sure I don't lose anything. Yep. This is the snow temple. You ready for this, Mimi? Oh yeah! Then let's go! Uh, this one. Also, Mimi's gonna be so mad. She's missed all of this. What heart? Now I'm gonna see you. Don't really know what any of these treasures are for. I mean, I guess they might just be for selling again. Seems so weird, just to include some cool looking items just for selling. Huh? I can't pass frozen glass. You'd assume I would say grass, but it was glass. Look at that bell over there! I wonder if there's some sort of trick to it. Dead and I took their money. But I'm a hero. Oh. Huh? Hmm? You rang the bell. Now the door will open. Okay. What the heck is this? Oh, two bell. I just hit it twice because I wanted to hit it, but... Now we have a sliding block puzzle. Our stinking favorite. 
Oh, it's not like I wanted to do something else, but of course, the Snow Temple needs a sliding block puzzle. Can't have anything cool. Well, ironically. Ta da! Dang it! He didn't jump. Why didn't he jump? Okay, that's how he jumped. Why are you spitting those up, guy? What's wrong? It's just a game you play. You know, it's like shooting watermelon seeds. Only we're eating bugs. What's gonna happen here? Oh! Not exactly what I expected. I see. This was a good way to teach me the mechanics. Which is the mark of a... Good design. What is this weird ice octorok thing? And why is it rude? It doesn't even have eyes. How does it seem? Really? Oh, okay. It's dead. Never mind. Powerful lungs to beat this game. Mm, Twenty dollars. This will surely get me something cool. Hello. Don't mind me. I killed your brother. But that's fine. He was kind of a jerk anyway. Not working. All right, we're safe. What are we gonna get, and why is it gonna be a boomerang? Probably. Is there such a thing as cold fire? I guess there's mint. Like the minty flavor is technically like a cold burning. What are we gonna get? That's not how you open chest. It was the boomerang! How expected. All I needed to see was two switches slightly off in the distance. timer there just so you couldn't get them with the pots. Hmm? How do I hit higher notes? What does that mean? Yeah, all 
write that down just just in case. I see. I see what it is. Brain works good. But first, sliding block puzzles. Everyone's favorite thing to do. For some reason. And I messed it up. The best, the best puzzles. Yep. Dang it. We did it. And now. Dang it. That didn't work. Hmm. Might have taken too long. Oh, maybe boomerang? Because I'm too slow. Yeah, I was too slow. But I got it. I understand music. So there's probably going to be a specific order to this. Yep, I knew it. Probably going to be the top one first. if it wasn't for you meddling walls. The good thing my boomerang is indestructible. Also keep an eye out for the stamp thing, because I have no idea where it could be. Sure, I'll just stumble on it. It's probably in a corner somewhere. Huh? I'm sure you'll tell me something dumb. We unlocked Ice Mario. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Got a small key. Wow. Stamp over here. Uh oh. I wasn't prepared for them to disappear. Dang it. Stop jumping. Hang on. Nope. 
It seems I have food ready, so I might go grab that. Oh, they are Octoroks. That's fun. Ow. Double owl. Double owl. Dang it. I'm gonna die. looking. But I'm going to be right back. I might have to play the rest of this level without a drawing pad, because that will be hard. Also, my hand hurts. But be right back. I am back. And no, I haven't bothered finishing my AFK thing. It's like every time I look at it, I'm like, something's wrong. It looks gross. It doesn't look... It doesn't really look like the... You know, normal stuff. But I'm back. What am I doing here? Oh yeah. We unlocked the power of flame. Thank you. 
And I'll probably beat this dungeon and then call it. Alternatively, I could call it right now and just go eat, but that's probably rude. I want to at least find that thing stamp. I know I'll forget otherwise. What? There's no wall there, Mimi! Yeah. Uh, hello? What happens if I freeze you? Dang it! I thought I had the boomerang out still. Nothing. Come on. I didn't hit you that hard, come on. I guess I... I guess I could've just walked up and stabbed him. I didn't need to torture him. Or myself. Oh great, I have to light the ice flames. There's the stamps. Dang it. Mimi, come on. We got it. This is a stamp station. Would you like to stamp? Ta-da! Thank you, shield. Thank you again, shield. No! Really? Alright, I need to... I need to stab these guys, they're in my way. They're shaped like those little octopus snacks. I don't remember what they're called. But they're in anime a lot. He's stabbed. Thank you. you think a character named after Mimikyu would be amazing at stabbing, and yet here we are. Really? I might have to drink my potion just to avoid... Freezer burns. Okay. I was gonna be a little upset if it didn't get the one thing I was aiming for. And the one spot. the spot they were at just frozen over. I guess they just don't come up. We did it! Ugh. That was the most stressful part of this dungeon. Never mind. I take it back. I forgot about the sliding block puzzles. This is stress. I'm definitely not eating because of stress made from sliding block puzzles. Alright, that's just not- that's not me. 
What's out here? Oh, it's the tomb. Well, you're not gonna be glad when I, uh, get distracted. It's gonna ruin the stream. Okay, this is the part where the things are at. giant head is in the way. I can't make notes like this. Dang it, now I can't see it. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Don't tell Mimi I said she has a giant head. to do here. Oh. oh, I see. Wait, I have to slide it over there? Ugh. How the heck am I gonna do that? hit a wall. Okay, this should work. Victory. Oh boy, twenty dollars. Oh, it's a one of those. That's not where I targeted that. Come on. Alright, what do you think the boss is gonna be? I mean, you probably remember, but I don't. At this point, I would guess a giant snowman. You wanna kill a snowman? Sure is a boss. What does that mean? Sliding buck puzzles sure are easy, huh? Why do they even put them in games? Okay. And the answer is... Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, it did it. Okay. 
Saving game. Because I don't trust anything anymore. Oh wait, it's probably a giant Octorok, right? to rely on stupid air strafe stain I think I did how little that narrows it down. Okay. I have to do it all at once. Alright, that's a little more complicated. Yep, it's not long enough. I have to figure out the correct order. snow. And that's why this room is full of snow. Probably nothing under here. Ah, I see. I do not see. Never mind. It's a bridge! Oh, it worked. Dang it. I appreciate that we had to use the wind blower thing a few times. And usually it's just, all right, you got a new item, that's all you're doing. Blue light if you want to do whatever. Is it a giant bird? No, it's fire and ice. Twin Rova returns. It's Fred! 
Guys, the Meister of Icy Fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Why is he fat, though? I'm on fire, what are you going to do? Ow! You're right, I have seen this concept before. And now he's a ghost. Jokes on you, I already remembered this trick from the last game. I looked at the map right away. Alright, get rid of these things. Put them together to make the room really come together, but fine. gone on so long. I appreciate that. Uh, and usually it's just two small phases and then we're done. Also, I got a free heart. Ah, get off. You never beat my frost fire. What? That should have hit him again. Okay. We did it. And then he exploded for some reason. Crystal Triangle. Why was there a bell? That didn't really go with the boss's thing at all, did it? You did it! You could have been frozen stiff or burned to a crisp, but you avoided both! I mean, if I ignore the frozen arm and the burned off leg... Sorry I couldn't, uh, be more help when you were risking your life out there. The snow rail map has started glowing! 
Tracks of the Tower of Spears have been restored. Hooray! There's a box! We haven't gotten any pieces of heart at all, either. Hmm. Great job, Mimi. Let's get back to the Tower Spirits and tell Angie the good news. And we'll do that next time. Because I should probably focus on eating, and also it's been three hours. Hopefully that makes up for the mess that was yesterday. Well, I hope you enjoyed our continued Spirit Tracks adventure. I will put it on hold until Monday, you know, to keep with the theme. I'm sure Mimikyu is going to be real confused. But hey, the VOD will be there for a while, if you can watch it. But, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will be here either later for something else or tomorrow for some other requested game. I haven't really looked. Maybe we'll just do something dumb. Who knows? But I do hope you all enjoy the streams. Hopefully I made Ellie's day a little brighter, even if he did lose at gambling, I think. Whoops. Anywho, boy for now.